Eric Gardner. And today is National Onion Day. Love onions. We use them in so many recipes. And today I'm going to have this caramelized onion mixing with some tomatoes and some basil and garlic and some pasta. It is going to be absolutely fantastic. I've been cooking these onions, these Vidaly onion slices, for about 20 minutes. I want to cook them on low for a long time to get all of those nice, sweet, natural sugars to exude from those onions. Just love the flavors that caramelized sweet onions will impart in a dish. Those are ready to go. Now I'm going to add to this skillet three minced cloves of garlic and some chiffonade of basil. I am going to turn the heat up just a little bit. I want to cook on a little bit higher heat until I have softened up the garlic cloves. As I've talked about a lot of times, it is so easy, too easy, unfortunately, to burn garlic. And if you burn garlic, it kind of messes up the flavor of the entire dish. So just for a few seconds here, I'm just going to stir that around and make sure that we kind of get those garlic cloves softened. And kind of like spinach, see how the basil kind of wilts? We're going to use some fresh basil for garnish a bit later on. Now, looks like we're ready to go here with the tomatoes. I want the whole grape tomatoes in. You can use cherry tomatoes. And we're going to cook these until they actually burst a little bit. You're going to see that at the end of the show when we plate this up. Cook those. And then we're going to add a little more salt and pepper. I want to make sure I have enough seasoning in here. Of course, using that salt and pepper blend from JR's Barbecue. And yeah, what a nice colorful dish this is going to be. Almost Christmas colors and very healthy as well. Said many times, in fact, I was talking to a coworker about this this morning. Grape tomatoes are very, very good to use in cooking instead of some regular tomatoes when you can't find the great quality regular tomatoes at the grocery store. Heirlooms, of course, are the best. But later on this summer, once we get fully into tomato season, we'll have some fantastic tomatoes for you to use. And also right next door at the market, they have some locally grown tomatoes, which are of very high quality. Already these tomatoes are feeling the heat, getting ready to do a little bit of bursting. We're going to go ahead and add some of this colorful rotini pasta to the mix. Love the colored rotini, it just adds a little bit of color, obviously, to it. Very, very nice. I like the sizzle, that's what I want to hear. And then I'm going to actually stir in some finely grated Parmesan cheese. And you know what, folks? For right now, that's all I need to do with this particular dish. We're going to continue to cook this until those tomatoes burst due to the heat, and then some of that nice tomato, the juices from those great tomatoes will then just um, spread throughout the skillet. Absolutely fantastic. Incidentally, for those caramelized onions, I sauteed those in about three tablespoons of butter and two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Did want to add the butter in there. So as you can see, a very, very healthy dish, really. Uh, pasta, of course, is carbs. I understand that. But we have tomatoes, we have basil, garlic, and onion. Should be really, really good. And what I'll do is I'll plate this at the end of the show. I'll serve it with some more freshly chopped basil and some more Parmesan cheese. It is as easy as that. A lot of weather to talk about. Enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms today. I'll have everything you need to know after the break.